When's tomorrow? Surprise so removal. We're going on a trip in your favorite rocket ship. Give me my tea, you little thing. <laughs> <laughs> making bets on when he'll touch down. So my guess. No, say what today is first. Today is you know, I don't know the date. The fifth. Monday, July fifth. I think that Parker's coming on Monday, July twelfth. Oh, you didn't say Tuesday. Tuesday, July thirteenth. July thirteenth. July thirteenth. Is that the date? I yeah. think Friday, July 9th. I'm gonna go with. Thursday, July 8th, and the winner gets, what do you want if you win? I don't know. I just told you that. <laughs> I don't know. Well, obviously, bragging rights. Yeah. Bragging course. rights? Of course. Like, wow, I'm psychic. You guys aren't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I should get? What do you think? What do you want if you go into labor on Thursday? Mm. And if that's the case, I need, I have a lot to do. <laughs> you do? I'm going to change my whole week. Well, the fact that there's a possibility means you got a lot to do. No, because this girl right here still has photo shoot tomorrow. Photo How you giving labor in doing a photo shoot on Thursday? Make it make sense. I thought it was Wednesday that the photo shoot. Mega mom. No, that's the collage. It's not Wednesday on the photo she shoot? She said Wednesday morning was the photo shoot. You're going to do labor and a photo shoot? <laughs> on the the photographer might as well just come to the labor. Oh, no, she, I don't know. We're gonna the, the camera's gonna flash and I'm gonna my water's gonna break. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell him, hey, new location. Um, just come to the birthing pool, please. Well, that may be why she's saying Thursday. She's gonna win because all the activity and excitement of the photo shoot. You may go into labor then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. We're gonna see. <laughs> Y'all are really. What do you want if you win? Um, I don't know because I can't say cook me dinner for a week because you're going to be like I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> if, if, I'm recovering. If, right. I, if I win, I get to pick the date of the next baby. <gasps> Ooh. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> it just got real. What does that even mean? Because you said your birthday and I would be able to say if you're going to listen to me <laughs> so I don't care. <laughs> what do you want if you win? I want hmm I want, I want to choose the next vacation and the next baby's middle name. You what you want a dog? What? You want the first baby's middle name. <laughs> That's not true. I propose an idea. What do you want if you win? I don't know. I already have bragging rights. You already have the bragging rights? Yeah. So I don't know. You I get the comfort the second baby. You get to come for the second baby? Okay, perfect. These bets are... It's so high end. It's so... It's the stakes are that high. Was that was, that, was, that, was, good that was a good one. I wasn't thinking you were going to say that. Wow. I thought you were going to say I get to come for the second vacation. And you said the second baby. Now, these are the bets. Annie, are you prepared to lose? What do you want, Seven? I just told you. She, she I get to pick the date of the second baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's tomorrow? Surprise remote. We're going on a trip in your favorite rocket ship. Give me my tea, you little thing. <laughs> Where are they going? So, you guys, we do have the camera. It's actually right there. Show them. It's on, on the side of the door. Ooh, my stomach. I'm about to make me a gummy bear seat like I did in the second book. You're a child. Give me some. I'm thirsty. He's dropping and Bryce ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> I just dug in my nose and then put it on my lip layer on the camera. Ew. But <laughs> there's no but about that. I was digging makeup, not boogers. Gummy bears before they shoot. Don't feed the models. Don't feed the models. <laughs> I gotta go because I gotta use the GPS. In three quarters of a mile, take a slight right turn into the parking lot. I know Siri did not. We have the maternity shoot today with Sid in the fabric store. 
getting some last minute things. Just finish my makeup. Proceed to the route. I wonder if y'all can hear that, but that's Siri. <laughs> Today is the Cyclage Removal Day, and it's actually the Cyclage Removal Hour. Hopefully, we only hurt. waited for how many? <laughs> Remember, we used to be like three months away. So Hopefully, it doesn't hurt. Away, one month away, and now we're here. Came okay, really fast. We're at the Pause. specialist. <laughs> we're at the specialist, and it's time to remove the Cyclage. I'm about to go upstairs and see if baby's able to come up there. But for right now, I'm about to mask up and go upstairs. So Seven just sent me a text and said that they said that I can come in, which is crazy because I have not been to any of her doctor's appointments that's been at the actual doctor whatsoever. The last appointment that I went to was um, our checkup appointment after she got a yes positive pregnancy test. So I'm currently excited as hell because Look where I'm at. Wow. First time ever. I don't know what made them just say, yeah, you can go into the circulage removal. Um, I've been with the hospital. I've been to her. I mean, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've been with her to the hospital. Um, you know, when we were having the contractions and when she actually had the Cerclage put in, but I've never been to any like appointments or anything like that. So I'm excited. <sighs> oh, we really got to meet our child. Like this is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I'm really excited. Um, I think his favorite thing is being difficult. Yeah. He does it every ultrasound. That's okay. He's not, you know. Mm -hmm. We're in another room now. Yeah. We're waiting on the doctor. Yeah. Stop before they come in here and think something's wrong. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna get my materials out. Not playing. A little bit of. <laughs> Where's my gloves? Put your mask back on for you. Can't Sarah, can you bring in my gloves? <laughs> oh, here they are. <laughs> no mask. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop before. I'm trying to calm your nerves. Okay. So, what is her position called? The lady that just yeah, the NP. 
um, <laughs> just came in and dropped off. I'm touching all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> he just came in. Wait, so you have the option to get removed at the hospital or at the doctor's office. Um, we're doing a home birth, so I prefer doctor's office. Because um, they'll try to keep you in there. So we don't want that because we want to have our home pool birth. Look, go ahead, baby. She said it feels like a pap smear. So hopefully if you're having kids, you've had plain pap smears before, which can kind of feel like a little pinch. Um, with the pap smear also feels like the IUI, which is kind of like you feel something go inside. Um, only thing is it's probably like your natural nurse, but of course, God doesn't produce nurse, so I'm just going to pray it out. Um, so that I'm calm, um, just a little bit of cramping during, she said. So this is the first time baby's been able to be in here because of COVID. Um, so I'm glad I didn't have to do it by myself because I wouldn't have made this video. I would have been I told her that we need to make the video for somebody else who needs to watch videos to get them through when they find out oh my god i have to get that surplage oh my gosh i have to have emergency surgery oh my god blah 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 that it's gonna be okay because you're gonna reach this point one day where we got it in um when did you get it in 36 weeks and i want no 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 when you put it in 18 weeks and then you take it out it's 36 weeks so it's kind of like a whole entire however many weeks that is i'm not good at math so I don't know. You're good. <laughs> and I watched um, Ming Lee's video to help me understand it. Right. So that's why I said that you should watch a video. I mean, you should make your own video so that you can help somebody else one day because we were in complete distraught when it when we first found out. And now it's just all happiness because we made it. <laughs> you nervous? No. We got to do something. She's going to get undressed. No, you're good. All done. all done. How was it, baby? It feels like a really bad person um just like a lot of pressure of course if you follow the instructions of the supplies you haven't had sex so it's really tight down there so the speculum spe speculum yeah it was better because she used a lot of lubricant which most doctors don't have to do but they couldn't find a stitch because our doctor stitched it so great so it took them a but second. it worked we here it worked we're here over 36 weeks safe zone for the home birth can't wait. and parker was going ham the whole time they were in here <laughs> so i think he's having a celebration party himself it took them like maybe like five minutes to get it out yeah because he couldn't find it yeah but if they would have been able to go in and find it you can't feel when they cut like when they cut it it doesn't feel like anything it's just the actual um speculum that they put in to like be able to see and the stuff like man. that that feels like it just feels like tension um so annie was here so i was able to hold her hand the whole time my hands are shaking because i'm hungry we need to go eat but i'm excited and this is my last time here i was going once a week for weeks until i got to 26 weeks then i got to do two times a week then I got to just come back for the surgery. And so from 18 to 36 weeks, which is 18 weeks at this doctor's office, and I'm done. And you're about to have your baby in your arms. So. <laughs> it's lit. But for anybody that has to do this, you're doing what's best for the baby. And Tell me your bum. I hope this video helps you know that we are right here being your cyber sisters, supporting you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I look a hot mess and nobody cares. Um, the bed looks like that because I just set up seven Netflix and chill. This morning, she made me get up, rush. My car was on E just to get a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit from Chick-fil-A before they closed. Then when I got there, I had to argue with the lady because I got there at 10.30 a.m. on the dot, which is when they stopped serving breakfast. And the lady made me pull up to, like, where they bring you the food and then wait to see what was left over for the breakfast. <laughs> and then she ended up bringing me three times the amount of food that I asked for because, yeah, so now I ate the biscuit and that's why I'm up 15 pounds this pregnancy because of things like that, so... First of many pregnancies, this is our update. Happy Friday, July 9th, 2021. 20, I don't know, what? 21, 22, 20, 22 days away from our actual due date. Oh. Seven thought she was having her baby yesterday. That was her bet she lost. 
I think we're having the baby on Tuesday. The doula thinks we're having the baby today, which it seems like she's going to be right because somebody's already having contractions. <laughs> but since she's already having contractions, we're doing some stuff to make sure that we're prepared. So maybe this you can show. is Nissa postpartum recovery kit. Um, so I got a loose fitting bra um, for breastfeeding. Um, it's easy to just put one down. I have some other breastfeeding bras. But this actually still allows me to put like a um, padding or like a cooler pack for if my boobs are hurting. Um, I got the... This video is distracting me from what's going on in my stomach right now. I got the... <laughs> Sexy! Let me see. Let me see. Y'all, I never wear anything but a thong. Oh, this is what's the little slit for a little peeky Okay, pole? so oh, I'm these sorry. are postpartum. <laughs> Stop! Come on. <laughs> these are my postpartum underwear. So the slit is for um, the cooling pack to be. As you can see, it can go all the way back into your butt. Um, mm, yeah, the cooling pack to go. I'll put your cooling pack in, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> into your vagina well up under it so that it can like it's you can do it hot or cold depends on which one you like i'm going to do cold so we have to place these in the freezer hold it so real quick it's really cool bodies are brilliant because you can like. actually make these yourself at home and which our midwife made us some already um but y'all know me i'm like if, if it's something for it let me go find it so this is the little pack and it can go directly down into the underwear and so it cools from the front of the vagina to down at the bottom so that if you're in pain or if you have a um, rip during labor um then also i got these organic pads for them because you're supposed to wear pads after you have a baby i'm personally allergic to regular pads um so i got some maternity pads let me see your nails Parker's mom's nails. Parker's, Parker's mommy. Nails. Go ahead. Let me see the rest. Um, I got some maternity pads. For some reason, you have to do a lot to take this out of here. Like sealed. Oh, there we go. Their packaging is amazing. This is very, very cool. official. Very official. Oh, and then you just open up the pack right here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, got some pads as well. Some organic pads and hopefully that helps because normal pads give me a rash and Nick, thanks they for give them. you an extra storage bag they also give you some postpartum instructions um about the bra and these are the last thing is remember you guys i was talking about the bra these are the cooling pads that can also go inside of the bra so they basically have a set of things that can go inside of the bra so you can take these cooling pads the bra has a slit and you're able to place the cooling pads inside the bra so that you have some relief to your boobs from breastfeeding so it's not like supposed to be like sexy. It's very much it's very so sexy to me in the house. But <laughs> this is me. a to give y'all a She's glance so of the size. Me, I make a joke out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is a small medium in the bra, so it's really big. And then the cooling pack goes in the front and it cools your boob. I can't wait to try this. Cause what? Let's go put it in the freezer. On the boobs. Give me what I need to put in the freezer. It's <laughs> so pretty. Okay, ready? Set. <laughs> hey y'all, tell me why the batteries wasn't in here because Seven was putting the batteries in something else. <laughs> Where's the oil? You put it on her? What is that, Seven? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
out there so hard. Okay, y'all, so I can't find the carving right now. My seven wants me to. I, I want to do it. Like, okay. <laughs> Something's really hard right here. <laughs> not a job for me to find what's inside of your bill because you did that in two seconds you feel better now yeah he's in there he's kicking he's breathing he's fine just because he's not doing backflips doesn't mean there's something wrong with him okay all right there he is very loud now let me go see who's at the book Heart rate is 142. So this weekend we were supposed to be in Orlando. Um, however, y'all know that seven surclage came out two days ago. So pretty much, you know, we, we are being super duper safe. Um, the baby can come any day. I'm having deep breaths because saying that gives me anxiety like wow the baby can she can just start contracting and then the baby's gonna come and i'm gonna be like what do i do now just joking i've been um watching a lot of different videos listening to the midwife listening to the doula so i feel pretty prepared but um we we're supposed to be in orlando for that event that we met at <laughs> our lives biggest event of the year every july they have it so we're supposed to be in orlando however um we stayed home so Herbalife sent us our VIP qualification gift, so I just set up the table. Um, we just had our first hour of training VIP qualifier um, and made the table kind of <laughs> savvy is. What's mm -hmm. going on in the park about Peyton room, y'all? I'm so ready to get out of this bedroom because we are running out of space. Like, <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy. <laughs> so, we're almost out of here. My brother's in here listening to Sis and D Herbo because he's... I don't know. This picture just looks crazy. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Triple cheeseburger for a push day. It's not push day, bro. I thought I ordered a double cheeseburger and I ordered a triple cheeseburger. And I was trying to figure out why. Each combo was $18. I never heard of such a thing. But this is why. So normally, And that's the sauce I just got on the bed for me. I'm wilding right so now. So normally during events, we have really good food that you get to qualify for to eat. So, we created our own intent Uber Eats Five Guys. Happy event day. Not and happy I just day. ate a triple cheeseburger for the first time in my whole life. <laughs> and I am about to pop. <laughs> Why are you throwing my baby's pictures on the ground? Stop. Why are you doing that? You can't be the only baby in here. Yes, there's going to be another baby and it's not going to be you anymore. It's time for you to grow up and be an uncle. Throw my baby's pictures on the ground again. Oh my God. Really, Zakani? <laughs> and why are you in the corner of the couch like this? Okay, so update on our day. I was supposed to be doing a video whatever anyways we went to sleep for how many hours babe like four four hours watching cruel summer on hulu we started watching it i couldn't get into it and then we went to sleep but this is our first time not leaving the house on a friday on any friday. day 
Like, we did not leave the house at all for nothing. I didn't go to the gym. Baby didn't go run any weird errands. Oh, actually, I did leave the house for your Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but I went straight to Chick-fil-A to the gas station and then back home because I actually was about to run out of gas. But... So the doula officially loses and... No, baby! Guess who? It's going to be the winner. In two hours. <laughs> baby, we'll be here on Tuesday. Remember that I said it. I think... No, you didn't have any other votes, right? Oh, midwife. Jake said tomorrow. And the midwife said... And tomorrow as well. Oh, tomorrow as well. 